Hello everyone. I woke up this morning and I went to uh, Twitter because that's for me that's my normal place to check what's happening in Nigeria. And I see all sorts of things are happening. I I, I slept very early uh, last night. I couldn't even wait till 7 p.m. I was so tired, so I slept up and I woke up uh, uh, this morning, a uh, very early in the morning, of course. And then later I went on to Twitter and I was seeing everywhere. First of all, there's an explosion in Ibadan different stories are going around what it is what it is not but for me one of the good things i have seen is that immediately the governor was at the site the gov uh, the governor's office they've put out some reports out there and so that's a good thing that's that's how things that's how governors should be government government should be immediately on ground and not allow speculation uh, to continue on i'll try to do a video to look at some of the things that are being said online some of the reports that the governor uh, has made another thing also that i saw happening was fire happening uh one in uh, in abuja in a place called guarimpa there was this house that was on fire like this big uh business uh building that was on fire and someone said it started at around 3 uh, 19 uh, a.m and that they had called no right i think that was 4 19 a.m and that they had called uh the fire service the woman hung up on them he said he called different you know different emergency number this one we say call this one this one we say call that one i think about some hours later before finally you know the uh fire service did arrive then another place also if a market called karimo in abuja also are uh, you know on fire and they were saying that they hadn't seen any uh, uh emergency the fire trucks you know coming in to help with the fires then going off somewhere else again is to see um a, a lady who had posted that her sis sister had gone to a uh, university of abuja had gone to school uh yesterday and then she wasn't seen you know it's crazy all the things th that are just happening back 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 and you're wondering what is going on uh in nigeria and you know she's missing and they were asking to and then there was another tweet also of someone who was soliciting for help this morning he said he's being taken to an unknown you know destination against his will and he had put out his live uh coverage through snapchat I think by this time all of us need to understand this technology, especially with the older generation of how to do this live, live thing and share live location because sometimes it might come in uh, needful. And there were some people who were tracking it, but it's just that waking up first thing in the morning and just being met by different kinds of news that are not that good. And this thing just keeps happening again and again and again. Also this morning I saw, you know, a video where some uh, Fulani terrorists were actually showing how they were torturing torturing their their abductees and it's really so painful and what is even more painful for me is when people try to make this try to defend when people say these are full and you could hear them you see the facial expression you could hear the, they were even speaking the language and most likely they are muslim so when people come to say that oh these people they are terrorizing these people they are full and so they are muslims i wonder why people take offense to me the fact that i'm a muslim why am i going to take offense these are terrorists these are criminals deal with them go after them it's as simple as even if it's my blood brother that's the way it should be so, okay don't try to put that's what they are and so when we say all this kind of thing and at the end of the day people don't realize that we are all being affected by this we're all victims waiting to happen it can happen to anyone i might be the next victim you might be the next victim and that's the reason why we need to come together and hold government accountable and ensure that they do the needful so that we don't all become victims